The small intestines is where most of the gut issues occur, and also stomach, but mainly small intestines. So we start with the small intestine. We want to heal the small intestines because so many people are eating the very foods that disrupt the gut. The worst thing are the medicines doctors prescribe. Mm. And unfortunately, as a doctor, I used to do it years ago. Now I don't do it. But the worst thing for the gut are antibiotics. Wow. Why is that? Because antibiotics kill the good bacteria that train the immune system. You see, the probiotics of the good bacteria literally train your immune system to fight disease. Hmm. Okay. So when you're killing those good bacteria, you are decimating your immune system. Some of these antibiotics are so strong, it's like dropping a nuclear bomb on a city, or like a, and it'll just destroy everything. So antibiotics like Cipro and Levaquin, and these are the quinolones. They just literally decimate the gut. And there's many others, broad spectrum. They're really harmful because they decimate the gut as well as the immune system. And so I teach patients what, if they're going to take antibiotics, to how to do it. Okay. And or to take natural antibiotics like oregano and to use herbs and things that boost the immune system and vitamin D. Vitamin D boosts the immune system and natural antivirals. Wow, yeah. uh, so again, I teach them how to do this to keep their immune system strong. But we want what we want to do to heal the immune system is to avoid the the meds that really destroy it. The second worst are anti-inflammatories, which many people take every day. Can I can I ask a question sure. about the antibiotics? Because sure. I mean isn't there a good reason to take an antibiotic? Because the doctors yes. aren't prescribing them for bad reasons, right? Well, many times, no, that's not so. So many doctors prescribe antibiotics for colds and flus and viral infections, and they do nothing to treat huh. viral infections. They treat, yes, if you have a bad bacterial infection, Yes, like if you have a pneumonia, okay. bacterial pneumonia, meningitis, absolutely, you need an antibiotic. Okay. Okay. But also, what doctors fail to do, unfortunately, most of them, and I used to be the same way, <laughs> they fail that once they finish the course of antibiotics to put them on a probiotic okay. and a prebiotic to bring you back the bacterial, that. the good bacteria back in the gut. Yeah. Okay. See? Okay. So if you're going to take it, and I don't, I'm not saying that you should never take an antibiotic, I'm just saying be wary. Usually we have a natural alternative, like for a bladder infection for women. Women get bladder infections. They put them on these super strong antibiotics that decimate the gut bacteria. Mm -hmm. Instead, you can use a natural supplement called D-Manos, 500 mm -hmm. milligrams. You take 500 milligrams, two to four tabs twice a day, and it clears most bladder infections. Interesting. So, so yeah. what I'm saying is there's, for minor infections, there's usually a natural alternative. Okay. So again, uh, and I talk about that in the book, we don't want to totally eliminate antibiotics, but if you have a serious illness, of course you need an antibiotic, but if you do take an antibiotic, please take a probiotic for usually three to six months or longer.